Hi friends, in this video, we are going to learn another interesting question from mechanics. So this video would be useful. Don't skip that video, guys. Also, we have uploaded many other videos regarding physics question and answer. If you like to watch those videos, I have given the link in the comment section so you can always watch those videos. Let's go to the video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, guys. Please do that for us. Let's read the question. The car covers the first half of a certain distance with a speed v1 and the second half with a speed v2. Find the average speed during the whole journey. So it's a task. You should find the average speed of the whole journey. Just pause the video and try it in your own. And, and, and an important note, guys, it won't be easier for you. It would be much difficult than you think. Just try it in your own. Just find the definition of what is mean by average speed. Average speed is not uh, equal to initial speed plus final speed and divided by two. Not always like that. Sometimes it can be happen. However, the basic definition, definition of average speed means total distance covered within that time. That means rate of change in distance, not initial speed plus final speed divided by two. So you should remember the definition clearly, guys. Just pause the video and try it in your own. You would figure it out, guys. I'm going to do the question, guys. Hope you have tried enough. First of all, we should take some variables. We should give some variables to them so we can easily find the answer, find the steps also. In this case, let's assume the car is moving from A to C, which has a distance of 2S. So in the, if, the, if you find the time taken for the first half, what would be that? We know the speed of V1, and the first half means the distance would be S, because I have taken that the distance is 2S. If you take this at S, the half distance would be s by 2. That's up to your wish, guys. Just think like that. First, we should assign a variable, any variable. If we should, if we don't assign a variable like s, if you don't assign a variable to distance, we can't do this question simply. So that's why we are going to assign a variable. I'm going to assign it as 2s. So it would be easier to calculate. It would be easier to think like that. The half distance would be S. In this case, we are going to find the time. Why do we need to find the time? We, as we all know, average speed is equals to total distance covered by total time. So in this case, we should find the time also. So we have known that we have put a value for the total distance, which is equals to two S, but we need the answer in V1 plus V2. So let's think, if we assign the value of 2s for the total distance, the first half distance would be s. So if we use the values of that, as we all know, v1 is equals to s by t. Because v1 is a constant speed, so we can directly apply velocity, sorry, speed is equals to distance by time. So time taken by the velocity v1 for the half distance, let's assume as t1. So V1 is equal to S distance covered in that time divided by T1, total time taken for that distance. Like that, let's take the time T2 for the second half distance covered. So we will be getting an equation like that. T2 is equal to S over V2, which is derived from V2 is equal to S over T2. So we have got two different equations for T1 and T2. Also, we have assigned a value for the distance, which is equal to 2S. So we, if, when are we going to substitute the value of for average speed? As we all know, just start from the definition. Average speed is equal to total distance covered in that time, the rate of change in total distance. So what does it mean by total distance? Total distance is equal to 2S, as we have assigned the value of 2S. We are going to divide it by T1 plus T2. 
So the next step, we are going to substitute the value of T1 and T2 over here. As we all know, we have got the value of T1 is equal to S over B1. So I'm going to substitute directly. So if I substitute like this, T1 is equal to S over B1 and T2 would be equal to S over B2. So this is a simple equation. So we can directly cut off these S's. So I have now got the answer from B1 and B2. This is not the final step. We should solve this. If we solve this, we will get an answer like this. 2V1 into V2 divided by V1 plus V2. So if you solve this one, you will get this answer. If you simplify this, you will surely get this answer. No worries. So if you think like this, if the initial speed is V1, so final speed is V2. Then how we get this answer like this? Actually, we will think like this. V1 plus V2 by 2 would be the average speed. However, to, according to the definition, average speed is mean by total distance covered divided by its duration, time duration. So just think like that. Hope this video would be very useful for you guys. If it's please like this video. If you have any suggestion, if you have any doubts regarding any question, just drop a comment. So we will also read those comments and improve ourselves, guys. Thank you.